things. That's right, I said pins and things today because we are going to be doing a pin that I saw a long time ago that actually inspired all of the zombie Disney princess videos that you've seen, that you've seen so far. And now, because you guys like those so much, I've decided that we are going to use my sister Shinway, hi. <laughs> she is going to be dressed up like Anna from the new Disney Frozen 2 movie. It's meant for a little kid, but it totally fits her, so I guess that's okay. And uh, now we're going to make her into a zombie. The best thing about this is all of the stuff that I got for making her into a zombie is actually from the dollar store. That's right, the dollar store, except one thing, this. Now this is vampire blood, and it's actually 98 cents from Walmart. So it's the only thing that's not from the dollar store, but it's still only a dollar. So let's get started. I'm so excited! Okay, let's get started. <laughs> I have tons of makeup from the dollar store. I'm excited because it's all, there's tons of different things that are just lots of different eyeshadows and things, so I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna be creative with it too. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, because I don't have the right stuff for like doing makeup, gory, yucky stuff, I'm actually gonna use a little bit of Elmer's glue. Now this is just left over from slime, so I'm not counting this as something you can get at the dollar store, but I know that you can get glue at the dollar store too. So I'm just gonna start adding a little bit to her face, and once we get a little bit of a base on there, with this glue. What's cool is it peels right off, but I think you can put stuff over the top of it and the more flaky it looks, the better. So we're gonna go ahead and add some. Is that weird? Yeah. I almost feel like I need a towel. Like I can... Ooh, that's cold. I'm gonna do just some yucky. This feels so wrong. <laughs> But what I really like about this is it will come right off. It's just gonna peel off. There's, you know, it's just like when you're a kid, put a lot of glue on your hand when you're like in elementary school and it just peels right off. And I'm literally just taking tiny pieces and sticking them onto the glue that I already placed. It's giving it a very strange texture. Don't stick on me. I'm gonna paint it with some more glue now. Maybe a little bit of a... I will not be able to put any other texture on the top of, of, or any other makeup over the top of this texture until it's all dry. So I'm trying to put it on kind of thin so that it will be a little bit easier to dry. <laughs> Zombie Anna. This is gonna be great. I think I might want to blow dry your face. blow dryer and this stuff isn't going anywhere like I, I feel like it works way better than latex it's so much quicker and like it's super sturdy it's not going anywhere but it also is like pliable it moves with your with your face it's not like it's gonna well, slowly kind of peel <laughs> but it works really well and this went on so fast and gave it tons of texture so I think this is way better bang for your buck and time so now I'm gonna start covering her entire face with a base that's gonna make it look really dark and kind of more lifeless. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be using this. This LA Colors, it's just got a, kind of a white and then a lighter gray and a darker gray. And then I'm also using this prime face primer, but it's kind of got a green tint to it, and if I add these two together, it's gonna make an interesting colored, more dead foundation. <laughs> Lifeless foundation, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, it's 
time to put on her dark gray foundation. And this might be too dark. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna very lightly kind of smear it on. Do you wanna help me smear it on? I'm gonna be a smurf. It looks like I put on a charcoal mask. <laughs> yeah, smear it out really good. I'm gonna put it all over. Not too dark, so yours is a little bit dark. Start using what's left on your hand after you kind of smear it around, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's way too dark. <laughs> I just grabbed some and went and then I was like, oh no. <laughs> this is the effect as the glue is peeling it's actually yeah it's peeling just like it peels on your hand but if we cover that in makeup it's gonna look so gross see this glue that's just kind of peeling off slightly up here like in this area too Oh, come on. Focus. Now we're gonna put on some more white, I think, to make it a little bit more ghost. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more dark up here. And a little bit of this stuff goes a long way because of all that black I added. So I don't need to put on a ton. And I didn't need to make as much as I made, but that's okay. I'm gonna actually start putting a little bit of the black onto that area. Just so we get it all covered. Ooh, you need to put some of that dark over your lips. Oh, my lips, like the black. Mm. Okay, we're gonna use, this is just a lipstick that we got at the dollar store, Sam. Thing. I'm gonna put it. Are you turning your oh, face? <laughs> I thought bit. you were gonna put it on my lips. <laughs> I'm gonna just smear it in because that's where it was supposed to be. Cute! some mascara that I got from the dollar store. So I just got some cheapo dollar store mascara, but this is what I'm gonna use on her eyes because it's super dark and it will help. Put it all over on your eyes. Make her eyes look sunken. I'm gonna look scary. Yeah. <laughs> black again and just kind of even it all out because it looks like it's a little bit not smooth it's just not smooth so I want to make it smoother and that's working very well so I'm just kind of fading it out from the eye so it's not like a harsh dark line to nothing but it's kind of fading out from there I think that makes it look more sunken more naturalish. And I'm not one for using fancy things like brushes. Who needs brains? Okay. Yeah, now I look a lot more scary. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, time to put some black on her lips. I'm not staying just on the lips because I think if you if it kind of looks 
like it's going outside of the lines that looks more deadly to me I think than if it's just staying perfect you're really good at this I look scary <laughs> <laughs> your eyeballs are like ah! <laughs> they're so white now we need to darken your teeth I'm going around the around the outside edge and kind of darkening it with whatever's left on my hand that made it dark and it kind of brings out the natural there's places where it's a little bit more highlighted like on her cheekbone and on the tip of her nose so kind of makes it look more like makeup like when you shade your face highlight and contour it gives it more of a contour now I have the red makeup that just, or the red lipstick that just came from the dollar store, and I have the tip of one of the makeup, and I'm gonna start putting little red-looking veins coming off of the disgusting mark on her face. And the way to do veins is kind of like tree branches. to just make them look unpredictable and kind of going out everywhere. Or look at some pictures of veins online and that's the way to do it really good too. And I'm using the edge of this because it's kind of more sharp edge and not so like, um, kind of like the edge, the tip of a paintbrush or something. And the more unpredictable, I know it's so hard if you're trying to look perfect to make it unpredictable or chaotic, but the better. Don't you feel pretty? Yeah. <laughs> I think I need a little bit of blue on the inside of her disgusting, the parts where it's covered in glue. of giving the blue parts that are kind of popping out of her face I'm giving that or I'm giving the parts that are popping out of her face a little highlight of blue so that it looks more like I see I see with the red veins coming out also I think we need to darken areas by your eyebrows Perfect. <laughs> and this is the lighter gray color, so it's kind of more fading outwards from that dark that's on, around the eye. Okay, time to add some blood! So I'm just adding a little bit of blood. I want it to be especially where all of the disgusting, like, parts are that are popping out of her face. Kind of dabbing it on there. I think dripping actively is cool, but when you're wanting to like walk around and, and wear makeup for a long time, I oh, think yeah. dabbing it on there and letting it dry is kind of important. And then these ridges that are everywhere are really disgusting. <laughs> Gross! Okay, let's get your neck matching everything else. Because <laughs> your neck looks pretty white. You wanna look up? So I think I wanna make it look dark on either side of your... I'm kind of going on the crease of her neck on either side and making it darker. I think that's kind of contouring it to look a little bit more skeleton-y. Dead-ish. And I'm making sure to pull out from where that's at, so it looks more like the lines of the bones of the neck. So if you know what I mean, I'm taking my finger like this. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> you're the one doing this and yeah, you're like, ew. <laughs> well, it is ew. <laughs> I'm gonna cover all this. I think it's gonna be so hard to take off. <laughs> Name that movie. Oh, that makes it look... Mm, oh, that looks better. I think that pink on the side made it look a little bit too lifelike. Ew. 
If all the other people that you went with dressed up in costume, would you go in no. costume? No. With makeup? <laughs> I will be the normal one. <laughs> On one side you just look half dead, and the other side you look fully dead! <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, your lips needed that black for sure. They really did. So we just gotta add some blood going down. Ew! Oh. It's dripping! Better catch that before it goes too far. That's where oh, it's supposed to go. No. Isn't that gross? <laughs> It feels wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kind of smear it down. Smear it around. Ugh. Here we go. Is it still dripping? Um, no. Not really. It's Are just kind of... <laughs> oh yeah, that looks really gross. Perfect. Okay, the makeup is done. But we really can't leave it, leave her costume so nice and sparkly clean because that still looks like a perfect princess and it does not go along with her face. Sorry, she's in the way. <laughs> so anyways, we are going to go in my mom's amazing sewing room. She has a billion and one things of fabric in here. This is her sewing room. It is filled to the brim with mannequins that's all material and work tables and she's always got projects going on so we're gonna try and find some material that matches this that we can actually pin on but we're gonna destroy and distress that material so it totally looks like her costume is in rags even though it's not and then it can still be used in the future if my kids want to be Elsa or Anna. <laughs> What I like about this is we got the cheapest costume we could find. It doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to represent that character because then if you wanted to, you could totally trash it. But I don't want to, so this works. We're finding the right colors here. Ooh. Looks like in between again. Aha! Uh -huh. My favorite part, shredding material that's the same color. So I have little scraps that we found that are the same color as the costume. And I am literally taking my scissors to them and going down each side, kind of just stretching as I go, cutting through things. If I have to, I'll do it in the middle to make it a little bit more. Okay, my favorite part. So this is just shredding all of these little pieces that are the same color as her costume. So this is just kind of the same color. It's gonna be falling into the spot that looks like it is it supposed to be in? It's just gonna be basically shredded and we're gonna pin these on after we kind of dirty them up. Ooh, you look so much creepier than me. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So, now I'm literally just taking some of the makeup and making it look like it's all shredded because of, I don't know, maybe they went through a barbed wire fence that was on fire or something. <laughs> But mostly I just want these to look super nasty and any holes I want to look intentional and or unintentional but like they were made from something attacking it or whatever. Okay, now it's all shredded and nasty so we're just going to put it over the top of the costume and pin it where nobody will see it. Yeah. So I'm pinning it underneath kind of so... They won't see that part so much. It'll just kind of lay on the shoulder, scraggly, hanging down, nasty. Same with this one. I'm gonna just pin it on this side and then pin it in the front and then underneath so it's not gonna be seen really. Give it kind of a place to hide. That way it goes over the top. There we go. Yuck. <laughs> that looks pretty shredded and yucky and you look too happy and happy. <laughs> so this yellow part, I'm gonna put some blood on. Ooh, yuck. That is gross. Oh no, I got it on the other costume. Oh well, it will wash out. That's the great part about it. 
So I just want to make sure that it looks super zombie-esque and having it on the whole costume is gonna make it disgusting. More believable that you shredded your costume if you put blood on it. I don't know why. <laughs> one thing that we're really missing now and that is smile she looks too nice she <laughs> smiles so I we know. are gonna get some charcoal toothpaste to darken up her smile and I figured this out when I took a picture of Michael a few years back when he was dressed as a, a pirate zombie zombie pirate and uh, when he smiled he just looked too nice when he has bright white teeth so you got to darken those up and make them look disgusting and I think that is gonna make everything look perfect okay now I realized another thing that I need to do which is I need to wrap her hair to make it a little bit more yucky <laughs> oh yeah definitely needed that Just okay <laughs> let's go get some blood to have dripping out of her mouth because that's even more gross that's all good okay blood dripping from the mouth we gotta do it. I think I'm gonna do it all along your lip. So you shocked me. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Vampire. <laughs> Vampire. That's good. You look so scary now. Okay, ready? <laughs> Charcoal toothpaste. How do you even use this stuff? I have no idea. All right, I think you just need to bite it. Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe pinch some and put it in your mouth. This is charcoal toothpaste. It's just literally charcoal. Like, put it in your mouth. Like, <laughs> oh, it makes it look scary. Pinch a whole bunch of, uh, like, get a whole bunch on your tongue. Gross. 